Welcome to My Conversation, a presentation of KAIL-TV, My Central Valley. So let's get My Conversation started. And welcome to a special edition of My Conversation here on My Central Valley, KAIL. It is Feather the Wise's birthday. You see that? Ah, Feather the Wise. It's my birthday. Friday, May 12th, that would be it. Man, I am so excited about today. Not just today for my birthday, but we have a great show lined up for you today. And we're going to get right into that with our first guest. If you could, please put your hands together for Baltazar Villarreal. Thank you. Of Acacia. Thank you. Acacia greetings of Fresno by Baltazar. Now, this is my first time interviewing and meeting someone who does this. So please explain. What is it that you do? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, Akash is a Sanskrit word. Okay. Literally means sky. And in um, theosophy, the belief and the understanding of Akashic records is literally the records that is held in the sky of your existence and your soul's journey on this earth. Everything that has ever existed everything uh, with regards to family patterns, genetic patterns, relationship patterns, soul contracts with people you know, wow. exists in the Akasha. That sounds interesting. So questions Absolutely. on top of my, <laughs> questions <laughs> off top is, how did one yourself get into that? Uh, was that, how did you get started with that? Um, it was uh, like, like a lot of spiritual work, very uh, synchronistic. Okay. events that brought me about. I actually trained with a group of international consultants. I'm a consultant with a group that are, that's called Akashic Records Consultants International. Okay. And um, we did the records and did the learning of the records over the phone. Wow. And so there was part of me that thought, well, that's kind of weird. I'm used to meeting with somebody right. and yes. getting to know yeah. somebody and sitting in a classroom and taking notes. They says, oh, no, no, that's limiting. Hmm. We can do this over the phone. We start to release our preconceived notions of what information is and where it comes from and how we can receive it. So I did this training with them. It was like three days, and it blew me away. It, wow. it blew me away. And I said, I, I want to learn more. So I kept up with the teachers and continued uh, learning more about my own Akashic records, my own soul's journey on this earth. Wow. Had all kinds of questions and um, really wanted to know certain things that had occurred in my life, why they had occurred. You know, hey, what about this crossroad that took place 20 years ago with this person? What was that about? Right, right. Where, where, where does that, you know, lead me down the path of a tree of life, you know? And um, a lot of that information came forward to me and I really decided, you know, I'd like to do this and become certified and do consultation work for others, and so so I got here. Okay, so when you when you when you're saying the recording of, how are you? What are you reading from, as far as like to co to cover someone's journey? What are you reading? From? Absolutely. So what we do is um, it's called the sacred prayer method. That's what we use, and it is a prayer that has been passed on through generations, through thousands of generations, actually. And back in like, probably 1950, 1960 okay. is when is the time it was shared with uh, the general public, first in Spanish and then in English. So what we do is we read a prayer, we use your specific name in that prayer, and with your permission, I open up your soul's journey and your soul's records. Wow. And the guides, the lords, the archangels, um, those that have passed on, parts of your family, show up, literally show up with my eyes open, show up exactly. and I'm able to read right. the information that comes through to give you answers on your specific questions. So it's a, a revelation. In, it's in a revelation, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That is incredible. Now, you've been doing this for how long exactly? About three years. About three years. About three years. Now, what are some of the more interesting stories that you have encountered? <laughs> That's we, were talking we were talking about, about. We were talking about that. Um, it was really beautiful. And uh, some folks who do work with me do work probably every three months, every six months, or every year. Right. They'll come back and they'll say, I, I really need my Akashic Records opened. Would you, you know, please do me the honor, talk to me about this. And one of those happened to be a uh, university professor. So 
you know, we were looking into different areas, different questions she had about her life, uh, the way things had occurred. And she said, so what else do the record keepers want to tell me? That was her last question before mm. we were going to end the session. I said, they said you need to work on a CV. She goes, a CV, a curriculum vita. Got it. And uh, I said, when's the, I go, I'm just asking you, because that's what the lords are telling me, when's the last time you've worked on one? She goes, I really never have since I've been a university professor. It's been, you know, not since I kind of got the job. I said, you have some work to do. She says, why would that matter? I said, I don't know, I'm just getting you the information. <laughs> Within four days, I believe, because it was the following week, uh, on a Monday or a Tuesday, she got a call from the president's office. She was receiving an award from a uh, university chair, the president. And the first thing they asked of her was, do you have a current CV? <laughs> president wants oh to look goodness. at that. And so it helped me understand that, you know, creation, um, the beautiful things that come about on this earth, there are no limitations. Right. There are no limitations. And so going into somebody's records, folks start to ask questions about, you know, my partner, my wife, yeah, my like What kids. are some of the common questions that they have for you? You know, that, uh, that's kind of like the general theme uh, someone would say, well, just kind of like the normal stuff. How things going? How's my life going? Am, am I a good person? Am I doing okay in what I'm doing in my life? And um, so those kinds of things come up. Family patterns. Okay. Family okay. patterns. Sometimes uh, uh, cyclical uh, family patterns. And they'll say, how can I release that? How can I heal that? How can I clear that for myself? So I can kind of stop those family patterns right, in the future. Right. Um, that usually comes about. Uh, folks want to ask questions about loved ones. Definitely, definitely, uh, always. You know, uh, why is it that they keep on meeting all these people in their life, and they're of different ethnicities, different ages, but they feel like they've known them all their lives? Hmm. Why is that? Why is that? And that really comes through the records with a lot of clarity. That's incredible. That is, I can say two firsts a day. You're the first that I've ever met to do what you do, and you're the first Baltazar that I've ever <laughs> met in person. Now, for the people who are curious about it, how can they contact you? Um, usually, I do a lot of work on Facebook. That's just been the easiest and simplest way for me. So look at me up on Facebook under Baltazar Villarreal, or the name of my business is Akashic Readings of Fresno by Baltazar. And uh, my number is 287-559-287-3901. It's an also simple way to get a hold of me. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I tell you yeah. what, you got my eyes and my curiosity really open right now. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Give another round of applause for Baltazar Villarreal. Thank you. You guys don't go anywhere. We got a lot more show for you right after this.